Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about simplifying radical expressions. So if I was given this expression here, 3 times the square root of 16x to the 4th times y to the 4th times z, okay? So what I'm going to do is break this down. I'm going to break down uh, 16. 16 is just uh, 4 times 4, and 4 times 4 is just 2 and 2, and 2 and 2 x to the fourth is just x squared times x squared, which I can break down to be x times x and x times x. Same thing with y to the fourth, but I'll do it individually like this. y times y times y times y, right? And z is just by itself. All right. Oof. Got a lot of things we broke down here. So now circle our pairs. A pair of twos, a pair of x's, and pairs of y's. A lot of pairs. The only thing left that's not a pair is z, and be careful. Don't forget that. We, we write our next step here, okay? Three stays on the outside, and each pair represents a single digit or single number on the outside. So times one, two, times another two right there, times x, times x, times y, times y, all right? Times, now, the square root, uh, whatever's left inside the square root, which is just a z, the only single one by itself, that z that's right there. <sighs> so now let's simplify. 3 times 2 times 2, 3 times 2 is 6, times 2 is 12, so we have 12. x times x is x squared, y times y is y squared, times the square root of what's left inside the square root, which is z. Okay? And that's it. That's our final answer, 12x squared y squared times the square root of z. So let's recap. We're given a 3 times the square root of 16x to the fourth, y to the fourth times z, and we break it down into a prime factorization. That breaks down to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, times x times x times x times x, times y times y times y times y times z. From there, we circled all of our pairs, which was most of them, except for that little z. Don't forget them. We put our pairs, or singles, on the outside of the square root, and so we have 3, that was brought down here from the beginning, times 2 times 2, times x times x times y times y, times what was left inside uh, the square root, the only one by himself there was just the z. Simplify that. And that's our overall final answer, which is simplification of 3 square root of 16 x to the 4th y to the 4th times z, which is 12x squared y squared times the square root of z.